our National Day event this year will be held in Zamdela Sosalbek, where the intention is to have a symbolic march in recognition of the women of 1956. And this will culminate into a rally where our president will also be launching a report on status of women in South Africa. This is an important month which we believe we must reflect the achievements, but also reflect on the challenges of our country. It will pan out in a way that week one will be celebrating women in fashion. This week will be celebrated in profiling women who are cracking it in the fashion industry and as a result continue to contribute to job creation but also ownership by women in the economic space. The second week we are in partnership with the National Film and Video Foundation where we'll have two screenings, screenings produced or directed by women telling stories of women and we have targeted two areas. On the 10th of August, we will be screening in Jablani Amphitheatre, work done by women in the film industry. The 14th of August, it will be Kawamashu in KZN. These screenings will be extended to other provinces as we move towards the 60th anniversary, showcasing the important work done by women in the fashion industry. The third week, we'll be focusing on human trafficking and labor exploitation of women because we believe it's important not to look at celebrations only, but also to reflect on the pain and the hurt experienced by women in various parts of our country and our continent. We'll be focusing on fighting against human trafficking of women and children, as well as the exploitation of women from our neighboring countries but this year we'll be focusing specifically on Lesotho women, where we'll partner with Lesotho government and followed by activities in celebrating despite the pain experienced both by South African women and Lesotho women in, the, in Lesotho and the activities will be in South Africa in a place called Mansupa in the Free State. The fourth week, will also be an issue, an area where we'll be reflecting on achievements, but also the pain and challenges which continues to put women back. And we'll be focusing on the economic empowerment of women. One of the key issues in this particular week reflected through the AU theme where the African Women's Decade and the new mandate of the department, we are reflecting on that, on the socioeconomic empowerment of women. We will be hosting high-level engagements on the mechanisms and modalities for women's financial inclusion in the economy and all sectors of the country. As I've indicated, we have one of our own who's cracking the space, Daphne Mashile. She can write a book about her experience as a woman in the mining industries, the challenges she has faced and blocking her on a regular basis, precisely because she is a woman, when she goes and looks for money, she's been pushed from one place to the other and being suggested to that she must get partners. And when partners are reflected, she's always referred to a man who must strengthen her. Therefore, we need to make sure that in this free South Africa of ours, we are indeed equal and opportunities must be done on the basis of our ability to be involved in business, not on the basis of sex, because we are women or biological, we are weak, we don't believe in that. Our last week will be in September, where we're going to have a round table reflecting on the young woman and the achievements and challenges faced by young women in our society. We, we hope the Techno Girl will be able, together with their partners in business, to share with us challenges which they're still facing, but also what they've achieved as Techno Girls, and what is it that we need to do more 
in encouraging more businesses to support the techno girls. We have Katleho said she was the first one in her family to have achieved in science and technology and making sure that the world is bigger and broader for all of us as a country. Women's Month this year, we are celebrating it under the theme which says, Women United in Moving South Africa Forward. That's our theme for this year. And this theme is in line with the 2014 to 2019 government theme, and it recognizes that the need for women to embrace unity of purpose as we consolidate the gains of our democracy. It is informed by the well-documented Unit of the Women of 1956. It is therefore a clarion call for women to emulate the women of 1956 and unite as we continue to fight the triple challenges of poverty, unemployment, inequality. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to unveil the look and feel for August month this year. This is the logo which has been adopted as a look and feel for this year, August month. But I must also say our logo was created by young women. If we look at the logo, it reflects the various women in diversity. All of us as South Africa, this is what it's all about, but it also recognizes that our struggles as South Africa cannot be achieved unless the continent as a whole is captured in this particular logo. So the four women in the logo also represents our unit in diversity, and therefore it is a call for women to unite as we move towards 60th anniversary of the Women's March. We need to continue mobilizing society in ensuring we can achieve our destiny. May I also take this opportunity to also launch our social media as the Department of Women, our media platforms that did not exist in the past, we have the Department of Women, the DOE, YouTube channel. We're also launching the Instagram. We're also launching Google Plus. The Department of Women today is also, we are also launching our first online radio, which will be accessible through the media room, menu item on the Department of Women's website. The radio will be running continuously and can be accessed anytime from today. The online radio will feature various speeches, interviews, media statements, relevant comments from all those who have an interest in advancing the women's struggles in South Africa. And the content will be continuously reflect, refreshed to cover the work done by the departments and its associates on a regular basis. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, our clarion call to women and South African society of our country is to have unity of purpose as we move South Africa forward. Let us all rally behind Women's Month theme, women united in moving South Africa forward. May I also take this opportunity to thank all of you in ensuring that our today's launch becomes a success. Thank you very much.